In today's video, I'll be giving you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Bulex Neo. Now, this video is going to cover everything that you need to know, including how to get early access to Bulex Neo, how to actually set up and deposit funds into our wallet, as well as how to start trading and everything else you may need to know when using this bot. Now, if you haven't actually tried out Bulex Neo for yourself yet, I'll actually include my invitation link in the video description down below, and you can click that link to get started today. So once you've clicked on that link, you'll see a page like this where it's asking you to open Telegram and you just want to go ahead and click open Telegram desktop. And from there, you'll see a page like this and we just want to go ahead and click start down here to get started. As you can see, it says congratulations, your access code has been redeemed and we can now start trading on Bullex Neo. So what we can do is go ahead and click login down here. Now, once we've gone ahead and click login, we get taken to this Bullex page and here we will actually get given our private keys for the wallet, which they've just created for us. So what you first need to do is actually go ahead and click copy private keys. And what I'd actually recommend you to do first is actually import these private keys into your wallet, such as Phantom. Now, by importing your private keys into Phantom, that means that you've always got access to your bot. And that can be helpful because if you ever lost access to your Telegram account, that would mean that you would also lose access to the wallet. So if we import our private keys to Phantom, that means we've basically got a backup and we can access that wallet whenever we need. So you'll first have to copy your private keys and then we can click next. From there, it gives us a final chance to save your private keys. And you do want to make sure that you save them because you will not be able to retrieve them again. So after you've done that, you can click I've saved them. And as you can see, we've now got access to Bullex Neo. So now that we've got access to Bullex Neo, created our wallet and saved our private key, that means that we're now ready to deposit some Solana into our wallet so that we can start trading. So what you have to do for that is go over to the left hand side where all these different options are. And we just want to go down to this wallet looking option, which actually will take us to our wallet manager. When you open that up, you will actually see a page like this. And here we can see our Solana wallet over here. So in order to actually deposit some funds into this wallet address, we want to go ahead and either click on this button here to copy that address to our clipboard or we can go over to these three dots here and we can click copy wallet address now once we've got that copied we want to go ahead to one of our phantom wallets or some sort of exchange like coinbase or binance and you just want to send some solana over into this wallet now i'm not going to cover this in the video because everyone will be using different wallets or be sending from different exchanges so the process may be slightly different however all you will need to do is to send some solana to this wallet address right here now, as you can see, I've already sent a little bit over and that's how I've got 0.35 Solana in my wallet. And what that means is we're now ready to trade. However, although we are ready to trade, what I'd recommend you do is first head over to some settings so that we can change a few things first. And we can actually find our settings in the bottom left corner with this cog icon down here. So the first setting I'm going to leave ticked, which is so security audit when opening terminal. And this actually gives us some security information about the token. So I recommend keeping this turned on. Next, we can go to quick buy presets. And here we can enter in an amount which allows us to quickly buy a coin. As you can see here with these coins, if we hover over them, we will see this button here. And this is actually the quick buy button. So we can simply click this and then it will buy the preset amount which we've entered in here. So I'll just set this to $10 and I'm going to go down to buy presets now. Now buy presets are actually these buttons over here on the right hand side. And these actually allow us to buy different amounts worth of Solana. So if we clicked on this, this would mean that we'd be buying 0.01 worth of Solana. But with these buy preset buttons, we can actually change these to whatever we like. So if we were trading with smaller size, we could set these all to lower numbers. However, if you're trading with bigger size, we could set these to one or two or three Solana. And you can actually do this up to eight different times. So we can have eight different presets that are completely ready for us whenever we need. Now, next up is the sell presets button, and this is similar, but this is just for selling. So we can choose a percentage of the amounts we want to sell. So I like to do something like 10%, 20%, 30%, and you can just keep going up and basically put this exactly how you like. So you might want to do something like this. And then whenever we need to sell, we'll have all these buttons ready for us. And from there, there are a few more settings at the bottom. However, these aren't really needed and I'm just going to leave those alone. So now that we've got the bot completely set up and it's completely ready to trade. How do we trade and what's the best way to find good coins? So there is a few different tabs to find new coins. To start with, there's the explore tab, which can either show you new pairs or trending pairs. 
However, there is also a section called Neo Vision, and this is personally what I use to find coins. Now, these coins all come from a website called Pump Fun, and as you can see, it's split into three different sections. So we have new creations, which are coins that have just been created on Pump Fun. We then have about to graduate, which is coins which are about to reach the end of their bonding curve. And then we've got graduated, which is coins that have reached the end of their bonding curve and have now been migrated onto Radium. So let's just say we saw a coin that we like the look of. We could go ahead and click on this right here. And as you can see, it opens up the chart and all this other information, such as the trades. And we can also see the buy and sell interface on this right hand side here. Now, what I like to do is go to the time frame up here and just change it to one minute. And that allows us to see a more detailed picture of the chart. Now, let's just say we saw this coin and we actually liked it and we wanted to buy a little bit. What we could do is do 0 0.05, for example. And I'm just going to go ahead and click buy. Now, as you can see, it's executing and it is now being completed. And we can see it's been completed by this B symbol on the chart. And also, we now have an average price line which will show us exactly where we bought the coin. Now we can actually check on our position by going down to these tabs at the bottom and we can head over to position and we can see how much we invested, how much we sold, how much is remaining and our total profit and loss. So let's just say we didn't like this trade anymore and we wanted to exit. What we could do is switch this from buy to sell at the top and we can now choose a percentage to sell. So you can either choose these presets or enter it in here as well. However, I'm just gonna choose 100% and then I'm going to click the red sell button to sell. As you can see, it has now been sold. And we can confirm that by going to history. And we can now see how much we bought it for and how much we sold it for. Now, another thing you will have to pay attention to is the fees. And we can actually find these right under this buy and sell interface right here by clicking these options here. Currently, the buy and sell priority fee is set to 0.05. And this is what I personally like to keep it on as it means that we won't be getting a load of failed transactions and our transactions will be going through. However, if you keep it at these current settings, that means that your fees will be $10 per buy and sell. So if you wanted to lower it to something less like 0.01 or 0.02, that will work. However, your transactions may be a little bit slower and they may take longer to go through. But if you are trading with smaller size like this account right here, I would recommend to lower it down or you will lose quite a lot of fees. So on this page, we can also see other stuff like the holders, and we can also see important information such as insiders holding. And as you can see, this coin has a ton of insiders, so this is actually not something that you'd want to stay in, because this will eventually rug, although it is going up at the moment. Eventually, they will pull the rug on this, and it will pretty much just drop to zero. So now onto the portfolio analyzer. You can actually find the portfolio analyzer by clicking this bag icon on the left hand side and here we can actually see our realized profit and loss our unrealized profit and loss our total revenue and our total spent now since i've just made this wallet there's not much data on this chart however if you did trade with it quite a lot you'll actually be able to see a chart which shows you all your profit and loss and it shows you how much money you're making or losing and we can also see down here our trade history our most profitable trades and also coins which we've deployed now, there's also another feature called multi-chart terminal, and this will actually allow us to see multiple coins at once. So you can simply open up your main tab and then click add chart. And this will actually allow you to add multiple different charts. And this can be really useful if you're watching multiple positions at once. And finally, we get to wallet tracker, which is right here. Now, this allows us to tag, track and analyze multiple wallets. And we can do that by clicking add wallet up here. And we can then enter in a wallet name and also a wallet address. Now, the cool thing about this feature is when you add a tracked wallet, you can then open up a chart. And as long as this option here is selected, you will actually be able to see the buys and sells of your tracked wallets live on the chart. So if you're tracking a load of wallets, which were good traders and you saw them buy on this coin, that might be a good indication for you to buy. And now finally, we learn how to actually withdraw our funds. Now, there are actually two different ways of doing this. As I said earlier, you should have imported your private key into some sort of Solana wallet like Phantom. And if you did do it that way, that means that you'll be able to trade those tokens directly through your Phantom wallet. However, if you wanted to withdraw via Bullex, what we can do is head over to our wallet manager and we can then head over to this section called withdraw wallets and we can actually add a new wallet. Now, what we can do here is first choose the chain, which for most of us will be Solana. We can then choose our wallet name. So I'll just choose something like withdraw. 
and then we can paste in our personal wallet address. So once you've pasted in our wallet address, we can go ahead and click add wallet. And as you can see, the wallet address I've entered is incorrect. But if you've entered in a correct wallet address, it will then be added to this list here. And you'll then be able to transfer funds from your Solana wallet over to the withdrawal wallet. But other than that, this has been my full step-by-step -step tutorial for Bullex Neo. As I said earlier, if you want to try out Bullex Neo for yourself, I'll actually include a link in the video description down below. And you can click that invitation link to get early access to Bullex Neo so you can start using it today. So this has been my video showing you how to use Bullex Neo. Thanks for watching.